Well, hello again and welcome to the VK6CS Fun with Amateur Radio channel. Now, I've just got one of these little uh, uh, QYT8900 uh, radios. Uh, this one doesn't actually belong to me, it belongs to uh, Peter, VK6PM. But he said, oh, let's just, uh, just have a little play around with it and see what you think of it. Let's show you what, uh, give you an idea for size, how big it is. There you go, that's a 50 cent coin next to it. And that's my hand, I can completely cover it, I can cup it in my hand, no problem at all. This is the, uh, I've heard, what I've heard is a Baofeng UV5R with a PA module on the end. It's a little uh, 25 watt on uh, 2 meters, 20 watt on 70 sems, dual band radio. Uh, cheapest chips these things, I think Peter said it was $106 delivered. And uh, you get a DTMF mic with it. There we go. Again, uh, I'm at work, so I don't have the tripod, I'm afraid. So the, the camera work is going to be shabbier than usual, if that's at all possible. Now, I've got the, uh, I've got the radio connected to a bird through-line power meter. And uh, I've also got it connected to this uh, power supply up here. Where is it? There we go. Variable power supply. At the moment, it's not drawing any current because the thing is not turned on. So I'll turn it on. Be a good start, wouldn't it? Hang on. If I can do this, I'll hold the camera with one hand and turn the radio on with the other. The radio's come on. Didn't make a noise because I've got the volume down. Because uh, it would have chirped otherwise. And we can see that it's gone to 0.2 amps. Okay, 13.8 volts. You can see on the left there, and uh, 0.2 amps. So. Uh, on switch on, on receive with the sound uh, squelched, um, 200 milliamps is being drawn by the radio. I'm just going to key it up to the power supply. There we go, so that's gone to 3.4 amps. If we look at the bird, focus on the bird using a 50 watt slug. Uh, so that's um, the second row of numbers up from the bottom. Let's see if I can hold this a little bit steadier. There we go. Look here. Now this is on two meters and it's delivering 20 watts into the load. So with the 50 watt slug, as you can see, full scale deflections, 50 watts on the middle, uh, the middle row of numbers there. And uh, it's clearly showing 20 watts. Okay, so 20 watts on 2 meters. And it uses 3.4 amps to deliver that. And uh, as I say, squelched receives 200 milliamps. Okay, well let's see if we can let's get this on uh, UHF which is going to be AB, this one. There we go, now I've switched it down to 70 centimetres. And still drawing, still drawing 200 milliamps on receive. Now I just have to very quickly just change the slug in the bird through line for a UHF slug. So I'm just going to pause the video just for a second. And welcome back. I have now changed the slug for a UHF slug. And uh, that was, as you can see, that's a, it's a calibrated slug. Um, 50 watt slug, so we're using the same range on the power meter. Let's get the meter in focus. So press the PTT. Ooh, it's not very good at all, is it? What's that? That's 15 watts. There we go. So that's 15 watts on 70 centimetres. And uh, I've got a 50 ohm dummy load on it. And um, the bird through line. So 15 watts on 70 centimetres. Just have a see what sort of current that's drawing there. See if it's drawing a similar amount of current. It'll focus on the power supply. Oh, it's drawing less current. There we go. So it's only drawing 2.7 amps and it's delivering 15 watts. Now, um, I'm assuming that uh, the power setting 
is uh, set to actually no, I did check it yeah it's set to high I went through the menu settings and had a look at that it's set to high so it looks like um, they, it doesn't deliver 25 watts on 70 sams doesn't deliver 25 watts on uh, on two meters so uh, exaggerated claims but still for the price you know, 15 watts on 70 sams 20 watts on two meters is not bad at all okay well uh, I think I'll wrap this one up there and uh, I'll put the radio on a radio test set and we'll have a look at the receiver sensitivity at the uh, and the transmit the transmit deviation and uh, after that we might stick it on a spectrum analyzer and see how spectrally pure it is alright well uh, as always hope you found that interesting thanks for watching I'll catch you next time